This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a massive Unity branded U-Lock. I actually picked this up off of eBay about a year ago when they were selling a whole bunch of these for about $11 a piece. I think more than anything, I was curious what you would get for $11 when you're dealing with such a big lock, and in some regards, I was actually pleasantly surprised. The lock body appears to be machined out of a solid bar of steel, then chromed over. We have a huge 16 millimeter shackle, which does pass the file test, which means it's at least case hardened. And that shackle's held in place with a strong and unshimmable rotating bar locking mechanism. But as good as all that is, the core is just as bad. In fact, it's abysmally bad. We look at it and you can see what appears to be a chromed over pot metal core. And once you start trying to pick it, you realize just how bad it is. Let's get a, a little tension wrench in the bottom of the keyway there. And one of my Wicked Waves rakes. And let's see. I think that's about the longest it ever took me to open this lock. Let's try it again. There we go. That's more like it. In fact, the first time I raked this open, I used the back of my hook. I didn't actually even use a rake. What I used was the back of my hook, and I just rocked it a little bit, and it opened up pretty quickly. So as you can see, not so great as far as pick resistance goes, but let's take it apart, and I'll give you a closer look at this. Before we take it apart, let's see that rotating bolt locking mechanism. You can see it's just a bar of steel with a couple of half moons cut out of it that when you rotate it, it engages with the shackle. To take this core out, what we need to do is reach through this hole and all the way down the lock body to the screw that holds the core in place. Okay, so we've got this core out, and, and it is really, really bad looking. You can see each of the pin chambers is capped off with, I'm not even sure what that is, looks like mortar or maybe pancake batter, who knows. There's no clip on the back. This is actually held in place with this brass pin, and the entire thing appears to be made out of pot metal. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff out so we can take a look at the pins. There's definitely no security pins in here. Okay, that's actually better than I thought it would be. We have brass pins and, and nothing, nothing terribly offensive about them, which is better than I thought. But it does raise the question, can we improve this lock? This does appear to be a relatively standard rim cylinder. Unfortunately, it's a little bit smaller than most of the ones you would normally find. However, don't let that deter you too much. I actually have run into locks like this before. If you've been with me for a while, you may recall from video number 89, this Rav Baria K-lock. And it's almost dimensionally identical to this Unity lock, and it came with an aluminum bodied core in here when it started out that was just as easy to pick open. At the time, I was wondering whether or not I could beef it up a little bit, and with the help of a viewer, Hugo Martel, who spent a lot of time filing on a Medico mortise cylinder, we were able to shoehorn a Medico lock into this. So we have all the advantages of this relatively secure Medico cylinder and the beefiness of this lock body. So there is some potential for this Unity branded lock, but it will take a lot of work. Okay, that's all I have for you on this 16 millimeter shackle Unity branded U-Lock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.